Here at the Sholo Lake Eagle's Nest, we have two juvenile uh, eaglets in the nest, and they are three weeks old, courtesy of Dick Pritchett, uh, Southwest Eagle Cam in Florida. Here's a picture of a three-week-old eaglet in the nest to give you an idea of what these eaglets look like, which, and you'll be seeing them in just a moment. Upon arrival, surely the mother eagle was sitting in the nest and was unable to see the two eaglets. They appeared later, and James, the father, was evidently out hunting for some fish or some other food to feed the family. If you watched last week's video, you'll recall that we only saw one eaglet that day and weren't sure if it was an only child or if there was another one that just was obscured by the branches in the nest. But it turns out now that there are two, which is wonderful. And so Mama Shirley was the only one eagle visible the first several minutes that we were there. Um, but then after a while, she left and went to a nearby tree. And then we slowly started to see the first eagle, eaglet get active in the nest. And then after a little bit, the second eaglet became visible. It became apparent that these eaglets are eating well and being cared for well, and they are progressing and growing fast. In fact, in the first four weeks of bald eaglets' lives, they grow incredibly fast, the fastest of any bird. And then after that month, then their rate of growth starts tapering off to, uh, to more normal levels. As we watched, the eaglets kept themselves preoccupied, preening their uh, down and uh, future feathers that are going to be coming in. And they like to keep neat and clean, and they fuss around a lot. And they also did some winter sizing. As they're, for just three weeks old, their wings are incredibly long already. However, they're not really, they're, their muscles are not really developed. They're certainly not able to fly. But it's just amazing to follow the progress of eaglets in their first month. <laughs> a little bit of history about this eagle's nest at Sholo Lake. It was first discovered in 2012. And then um, my wife and I moved up to this area almost two years ago. And then so last year we discovered this nest after there was a newspaper picture about it locally. So uh, we're just, if we could assume that there have been two eaglets each year, then these would be uh, eaglets uh, 11 and 12, respectively. They like to, the eagle experts and eagle cam people like to, uh, they usually, some of them, some of them will give names to the eaglets, but a lot of them just give them numbers like E10 or E11. So anyway, we're assuming that this is the sixth year of having two eaglets, which would make these little guys E11 and E12. And no one knows the gender of eagle eagles until they get about five years old and they are then mature enough to mate. And, and the roles that they play then is what determines that. Although blood tests can also determine it as well. A few minutes later, Mama Shirley uh, flew up to her favorite perch this snag high above the canyon and lake uh, forest floor and uh, she was only not too far away from the nest and she could certainly keep an eye on those two kids and they were looking her over too because they, they wanted to know where their mother was. So far, this in this early part of the nesting season here, we've only seen the mother, Shirley, and the two eaglets. We have not yet seen James, the father, who's always been away fishing and hunting to bring back food for the family. But we know he's out there. A 
as I was talking about earlier, eaglets grow incredibly fast. And in only a few weeks, I think by eight weeks, they are adult size. That is just mind boggling. However, it'll still be a number of weeks, in fact, a few months before the eaglets um, fly away from home and go out on their own. Um, they will fledge sometime this summer if all goes well. We certainly hope that they do well and will, and this will be a successful nesting season again, just as last year as well, where when E9 and E10 uh, fledged sometime around midsummer, last time we actually saw them was August 5, and then we just didn't see them anymore because they were out and about on their own and no longer around the nest. I'm going to end this week's narration now. There are several more minutes of fun eagle watching to be seen here. And I'll just uh, play some background music here as you enjoy watching them and ask you to and invite you to keep checking back weekly. Hope to make this a weekly event. And um, it's courtesy of Sholo Tube. And again, we appreciate the courtesy photo from the Dick Pritchett southwest eagle cam in fort myers florida which is actually the eagle cam that got us hooked on um, filming or videotaping eagles and following um, nesting season which is so much fun to watch these um, eggs hatch and then the eaglets just grow and develop and they really they really do capture your heart and there's people all over the country that are just totally into these eagle cams and uh Unfortunately, we don't have a nest cam here, but we have the next best thing. We have a ground cam. So we really hope you will enjoy uh, watching eagles as much as we do. And thanks for watching. We hope you come back and check this site often. And also, I would like to give a plug for Talented Talons 360. That is a weekly program, actually bi-weekly, every Wednesday and every Friday. Dr. Christian Zaza uh, from Vancouver uh, goes live uh, and uh, does very interesting, outstanding eagle shows. Not just about eagles, mostly about eagles. He also did one on owls. But it's a fascinating uh, program and just a lot of fun to follow uh, each week. And he does reports on different eagle nests around the country and even around the world now. So uh, uh, his name, his last name is Saza. It's S-S, I'm sorry, it's S A. S-S-E, Dr. Christian Zaza, it's pronounced. He's from Germany. So look him up. Uh, look up Zaza Photo, S-A-S-S-E Photo, and then you'll be able to access the whole um, archive of his wonderful videos. So just want to plug that and encourage you, especially if you're really interested in eagles and raptors, like hawks and owls and, and that stuff. I strongly encourage it.